I've worked with laser scalpels before. Never this big.
Thanks for the assist. Private Vandalic, 8th Imperial Infantry. Might keep your distance. Insights leaking out. Don't try to move. We'll transport you out of here. Generous, but a waste of effort. Not much time. So listen. Wasn't always Imperial military. Born on Macab. Caught wind of the hot takeover. And volunteered for this. <laughs> Defend my old home. Either the Empire is getting sentimental, or it doesn't know your true loyalties. Good for the mission. 
knew the terrain and the people. Orders were to steal Isotope 5. But I wanted to help your evacuation. Still have friends and family here. Shutting down drills, not enough. Need to open emergency release valves at primary control center. Reduce core pressure. Where is this primary control center? We'll go right away. Have the coordinates. Controls are locked down. You'll need help. Use slicer spike in control center's mainframe. Override HUD security lockout. Take control. Vent the core. Control center's heavily guarded. Sorry, that part's on you. Please get my people off this rock. On my honor as a Jedi, your loved ones will be saved. I believe you. Wish I could stay. Lambda, Gez, we're at the drilling site's primary control center. An Imperial soldier, an ex-native, told us to open the emergency release valves. He said it was the only way to release planetary core pressure. Do you agree? Tectonic vibrations are still off the charts. Caranto Mesa just exploded. Good thing we're not there. Those drilling lasers were working overtime. The heat buildup beneath the planet's crust is massive. Venting the core would cool things off. Sounds like it's our only option. Slicing the mainframe now. It's working. Readings show seismic activity falling quickly. That should buy you enough time to get the Ark's fuel rods. I think it's time we finally paid Deborah a visit in person. Where can we find that hut? You don't want to go anywhere near him until you get help from our new friends. We've had an interesting development while you were gone. Dr. Ogarab isn't the only hut on the camp who's changing sides. The local hut cartel leaders, minus Deborah, want to negotiate with you personally. Hurry back to camp and meet us in the diplomatic tent. And I have a spot on the Ark. My family has been here for generations. More like resting on your laurels for generations. Sir, I'm willing to spend whatever it takes to secure a compartment for my family. Please calm yourselves. Both of your families are safe. The Ark has room for everybody left on Makeb. That's a lie. Everybody knows Makeb is overpopulated. He may be pompous, but he's no fool. There can't be enough room to fit an entire planet's worth of people. If we have to, we can fit one and a half Makebs into the Ark. Take a look at these schematics. There's enough room. You sold us out to that maniac to borrow? Now that he's turned on you, we're supposed to save your skins? Incredible. Had we known Tabora was insane, we never would have supported him. He is no longer Hut Cartel. We formally shun him. 
However, in breaking ties with Tamora, we find ourselves stranded on the keb with you. We are prepared to offer generous compensation for seating and cargo space aboard the Ark. Cargo? Are you delusional? Your bodies take up more room than a dozen good people. Ah, one of the Republic's greatest heroes. Just the person we could use to bring some wisdom and perspective to the discussion. And most of my negotiations occur with a lightsaber, but I'm always open to alternatives. The hut leaders on McKeb sent an expendable diplomacy droid for a reason. Cowards. Most revered Republic champions, my masters apologize for this unfortunate situation. Surely we can reach a state of mutually beneficial recompense and earn passage aboard the Ark? My people deserve rescue. The Hut Cartel's leaders can't just beg their way out. Shalem's right. But these are the most powerful huts in the galaxy. We can name our price to save their lives. And think what that means for defeating the Empire. You think we should combine forces with the huts and attack the Empire together? We can't lose sight of the real enemy here, or how much the Huts fear you. Taboro has lost his mind, and these cartel leaders know it. They can't go back to him. They need us. Honored Republic heroes, you are known for mercy and greatness. Can you find it within yourselves to forgive our profound error in judgment? It's easy to have a change of heart when your life is in danger. Show me that you won't revert back to your old ways once you're off Macab. Honored Republic negotiators, my masters will happily continue debasing themselves, but Makeb's time grows short. If you provide safe passage for my masters and their cargo, they will fully commit the cartel to an alliance with the Republic. Surely you find this agreeable? Inform your masters that they'll be allowed to board the Ark with the other refugees. Personal belongings will be loaded as space permits. First priority will be given to food, medicine, and other items essential to survival. Our rhodium plated statues will not qualify. We'll negotiate exactly what responsibilities the cartel has to the Republic once this crisis is over. We'll expect full cooperation. My masters wish no further hostilities with you. The offer is accepted without condition. I think you're the first in galactic history to force the huts into a deal they can't afford. Now all we need are those fuel rods. Dr. Ogarab is with Shalem. You should coordinate with them. Cartel has deserted you, Taboro. You have no allies left. Don't be a fool. Give us the fuel rods. <laughs> Taboro, there's something very wrong with you. Listen to what you're saying. It doesn't make sense. That inbred imbecile has abandoned all sanity. You'll have to take the Ark's fuel rods by force. His palace is a testament to my artistry. I poured my spirit into designing lethal defenses. I also left myself a private entrance inside. Finding a way inside the palace is the least of our problems. We are heading into the heart of a lunatic's private playground. Taboro will have far more than my inspired designs guarding him. His most lethal soldiers and Isotope 5 droids patrol every corridor. We'll hold this position until you get back. Without those fuel rods, millions will die. If you can't get them, I'm canceling your parade. Tell your people not to worry. We'll get those fuel rods, no matter what. Be safe. You now have coordinates and the security code to my secret entrance. Once you're inside, contact me for more information. Don't die.
Not a bad looking place. Well, crooked maybe. Your hidden entrance appears to be unguarded, Doctor. Of course. Tomorrow doesn't even know it exists. He has no eye for such exquisite detail. He is also despairingly predictable, and almost certainly ranting away in his throne room while clutching a fuel rods to his bosom. I am transmitting procedures to defeat the security protocols separating you from tomorrow. Follow them precisely. I'll be unable to reach you via hollow after this. We can take things from here. You've been most helpful. The Republic will remember your cooperation. 
Perhaps your Supreme Chancellor will reward me with my own private laboratory. The planet Tishron would be perfect. A last word of advice. Tomorrow asked for some rather unorthodox droid designs. It's possible he actually built a few. If so, good luck with them. Following in luxury, ignoring the peons outside.
Mona, Liska, Chananga, Wachi, Kospai, Ni, Pontinka. La Joba non botafa, Avati kun achi don ignamoria. This planet may not be around much longer, but its people will always be part of the Republic. You destroyed this world, enslaved and murdered people, and for what? Vanity. You're done, Tabaro. Surrender. Those fuel rods wouldn't want you to explode or anything. Ras, Kamuta Pelot Kaspunta, Rona Pakisa, the Kaya Shrek Rola, Woska Kwapo Pana. Who need Joka, Nutra, Chipawa, and Tichi to. You left us no chance to get you out of here alive, Toboro. Goodbye. The arc fuel rods, as promised. Tabaro's gone, along with his entire supply of isotope 5. The whole planet felt it. Lambda says the explosion triggered a chain reaction in the planet's core. If you have unfinished business, better make it quick. I'll take the fuel rods and get our people to work installing them. I left a shielded shuttle here at the camp. It's your ticket off Makeb. The rest of us are taking the arc. You sure there's nothing else that needs to be done? Have all the planet's refugees made it aboard the Ark? The ship is full and ready to fly. Thanks to you, we're about to achieve the fastest planetary evacuation in galactic history. I hope we meet again on Keylander Station. Lemda says there's a fissure opening directly beneath us. We're launching before the Mesa collapses.
since reported the catastrophe on the surface, we fear the worst. The Republic just inherited several million people who need a new home. These may be in Keylander Station's conference chamber. We have much to discuss. Forgot the extra Colto. They'll have the shops open, right? The Supreme Chancellor requested a meeting. Welcome back. I was informed that you survived a terrifying ordeal. You have my deepest admiration. Ah, here they are. Millions of hungry mouths to feed and nothing to show for it. You pledged, Mekeb, to us, Shalem, and you knew it was doomed. We had no idea the planet was that unstable. Our offer was made in good faith. My uncle is a businessman, Chancellor. But in this case, he's telling the truth. You knew the groundquakes were getting worse. You used the Republic, knowing we'd be obligated to help your people even if you had nothing to offer in return. They didn't know Mekeb was doomed. Only that the groundquakes were increasing after the huts took over. They didn't voice all of their suspicions, but they were trying to save lives. Would we have acted any different? That hardly matters now. This is a debacle. We came here seeking resources to defeat the Sith Empire. Instead, we're walking away with debts and obligations. What about the Hut leaders? You negotiated a peace agreement with them, didn't you? He's right. The cartel leaders have promised to support the Republic wholeheartedly. So we have a worthless ally and a broken one. Still. The Huts possess considerable wealth. Only the cartel leaders who needed rescuing agree to this alliance. Fortunately, they possess most of the wealth and power. They'll neutralize any holdouts. With our new friend's wealth and warships, we've gained a substantial advantage over the Empire. That doesn't address the problem of Makeb's people, however. I need a solution. The Republic needs to establish a haven for war victims. I can't think of anyone more deserving than the people of Makeb. The Huts have plenty of credits to fund the construction of new homes, and we can use their fleet to protect them. I had to twist your arm to call the Republic. Glad you finally swallowed that spirit of independence. After everything we've been through, to receive such generosity. Thank you all. The people of Makeb need someone guiding them to their new home. I think you're the right person for that job, Shalem. I'm not. But you've shown me what a true leader looks like. I'll follow that example. I want to speak with my operative in private. Please excuse us. You've made the best of an unfortunate situation. Well done. The Huts want to be on the winning side of this war. And you've shown them who that is. We have you alone to thank for this alliance. All Jedi are taught that our power should be used to bring people together for peace. A great many have seen your example and responded. And I need that beacon in the darkness more than ever. For too long, the Republic has wasted time reacting to the enemy. We must fight this war to win by going on the offensive. Savor this victory. Return to the war's front lines and press our advantage. Together, we will be triumphant. <laughs>